An alarming study, which we get every day at this point, shows many tampons, it was actually all of the ones they tested, contained lead, arsenic, and other toxic metals. Y'all just can't get a break. Like, I don't even have to use these, and I'm tired vicariously for you. Remember that fear is an easy way to get clicks. It's an easy way to get someone to watch. And hats off to the New York Post, because this skull and crossbones was actually flashing to drive home the danger message. But this is the actual study. Let's take a look at what they actually found. They tested a wide variety of tampons. Like they had ones that were purchased in the US and the European Union. They had organic versus conventional and they had name brand versus store brand. In total, they were testing for 16 different metals or metalloids and they were testing the actual insertable part, that fabric. That is a more comprehensive list of all the stuff they went looking for. This down here is the scary stuff. And yes, they found some disturbing disturbing contaminants. I mean, lead, cadmium, and arsenic are nothing that you want inside of you. But it's in these measurements where all of those news articles didn't give any context because this is 120 nanograms of lead per gram. A nanogram is a billionth of a gram. And the concentrations of cadmium and arsenic had even lower levels than the lead. Here you're talking 6.7 billionths of a gram of cadmium per gram of material. These researchers in the study point out that this does not provide information about the potential bioaccessibility of the metals, and they cannot estimate any health risks from this study. There needs to be more research. Remember that heavy metals are ubiquitous. They're found everywhere, and one of the primary components of tampons is cotton, and that plant itself soaks up natural lead and arsenic and other heavy metals from the soil. And there's not really a way to stop it from doing that. That's also why stuff like this can happen. Like you can take steps to try and prevent it, but it is part of nature. And so you grow your own sweet potatoes and carrots, make your own baby food, and find out that it's just the vegetable that is doing it. It soaks up lead and arsenic and other stuff from the ground. But in the face of these headlines, here's some reassuring news. Your body can actually process and excrete things like lead arsenic and cadmium if they are in small amounts. It's when the dose gets so high that things start going wrong. So while it would be nice if we could get this to zero, these numbers probably aren't that dangerous. 